What is going on, Aries? Touche Jermaine, 336 Tarot here. How you doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day, all right? Of course, y'all, with the sage, setting the intention to cleanse, remove, protect, and purify our space, our energy, the cards, and our org fields of any and all negativity, negative energy, low vibrational energy, set intentionally or unintentionally from those known and unknown, including ourselves, okay? Very good, Aries. Listen, this is your what? Divine feminine empowerment clarity okay so y'all let's clear the energy make us receptive to spirit and then we're gonna jump in and get this clarity from spirit okay see what we need to talk about this week okay All right, Aries, let's go. Look, we're going to jump in with spirit, spirit, guys, ancestors, and angels of the highest and purest light vibration and energy, okay? And see what the clarity is from my Aries people this week, all right? What do we need to know, spirit, to help us empower and embrace our inner empress, right? Divine feminine energy, all right? Let's see what we got. As I know, this is a one-to-one -one read. This is not, <laughs> wait a minute. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading. <laughs> if you do want to book a personal reading, make sure you check my website. It is in the description, okay? TouchéGermain.com. Right now, we're going to get this overall energy, this Empress energy for my Aries people, Spirit. What is going on for Aries? What? Oh, thank you, Spirit. What is the clarity? y'all this week all right we have joan of arc that is coming in for y'all oh i need a feel don't be judging me okay joan of arc that is coming in the warrior of light let me see if i can get that to focus for y'all oh thank you spirit i have steel like faith in myself the angels armor me with conviction. So Aries, this week you are believing in yourself, okay? Believing in your ability to create, believing in and having faith in yourself, right? That is what Spirit is saying. Spirit says you got to have faith in yourself, in your in your creations, your projects, your ideas, and but most importantly in you. Okay, stand up for yourself, protect yourself, protect your peace, your energy. The angels armor me with conviction. Okay, so stay true and authentic to yourself this week. Okay, Aries, that is going to be the name of the game. All right, let's get. A soul card out here for you guys for this week okay making sure that you're protecting your light um, or not letting anyone dampen your light right or diminish your glow might have to put your battle put your camouflage on your battle armor right like this Joan of Arc some of you might just have to stand up for yourself this week okay Aries let's see what else we got let's get a soul card out here for you guys what is the clarity? Some of you have, have really been like on the defensive, having to defend yourself against somebody. And that may have shaken you or shaken your faith in yourself. Maybe you tried to do something, started a new project, a new something that you have begun. And maybe someone did not believe in you. Maybe your circle of friends, your or you didn't have feel like you had support in regards to your ideas um, or yourself. So you had to defend yourself, put your stand your ground, put your guard up and things, right? Listen, I just talked about creative projects standing your ground about your beliefs look your soul card my creative power as i invest in my own creative potential message i experience my create my female creative genius look listen aries was just telling y'all your creative projects if you felt like you didn't have support for what you were trying to accomplish or what you are wanting to do for yourself guess what it's about you believing in yourself right you believing that you are doing what you are supposed to do for you irregardless of what anybody else has to say continue to be creative continue to invest in yourself right you have the potential to do anything that you want so step into your creativity for some of you maybe um what i'm feeling is 
you have you're gonna have to figure out a way to channel like if you have a lot of emotions going on or situations or anger or whatever this emotion is that's kind of holding you back you're gonna have you can use that transmute that right switch it turn that energy into something else that's what transmuting is right um they're showing me like the temperance card in my head okay so this is you transmuting taking that energy finding a chan a creative channel a creative outlet this week okay stepping into creativity this week and having faith in yourself your creative projects all right let's get some tarot for aries this week spirit what is the truth the clarity the wisdom the guidance for aries all right what's going on spirit what's the first card come on spirit look ace of swords <laughs> look communication brilliant ideas that may need refinement so some of you may be tweaking some projects you already have um just going in and fixing up some things okay refining what you have already been working on overcoming obstacles with faith look here's faith again you have i have still like faith in myself and overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out listen i can't make it up tell you what spirit love okay so you have to believe that if you are starting something, if you want to do something, you have to believe in yourself so that it can work out for you. Okay. So that it, because if you don't have belief in it, how anybody else going to believe it, Aries? Communicate clearly, message and concisely and remain objective. You have to, if you don't believe in you, can't know who else is going to have, do you want someone else to believe in you? Make sure that you're communicating your truth. Okay. Um, what is true for you? Don't matter what, we don't always agree and people don't don't always agree with our truth right but this is our truth it's our reality okay ace of swords new ideas like inspiration you may have some additional inspiration that comes in like creative ideas that come in right gotta have faith and believe what is next what's crossing you Look, ten of wands. Do look. Oh, feeling overwhelmed, being stressed out. You, a lot of y'all may just <laughs> maybe you may be doing too much, and this is telling me that you need to focus. Okay, you're gonna need to focus um, and narrow down what you actually need for you and what is not your responsibility to carry. Don't burn the the candle at both ends either. Is what I just heard. Working too hard. All right. Some of you may be putting in too many hours. Right. Working. You may have a regular job and then you get out of work and you go do another job so be mindful of working too much okay the need for balance work-life balance make sure you take some time out for yourself let others help you we are all about stepping into our divine feminine energy this week as always all right aries so make sure that um you are letting being receptive okay may need to get some ideas maybe some um some help right you may need to collaborate with some people that may help you to decrease the stress that you have if you have a lot of like eggs in one basket a lot that you are trying to accomplish or do okay so be mindful you ain't working too hard all right what's in the deep past for aries spirit Ooh, come on spirit look nine of cups coming in wish fulfillment wishes coming true and your dreams because you are putting belief behind your dreams and acting on the things that you are wanting to do these projects we just got done talking about right um your wishes and your dreams are coming true and becoming reality learning how to manifest and big empress energy okay a magical time of life good fortune faith look there's faith again third time third card okay faith in the universe that all will be well message you have to trust and believe right again you got to trust and believe in yourself and your wishes look these are your wishes you see the cups up there all the things that you have manifested that you want to manifest these are your wishes can't nobody tell you about your dreams and things okay aries what's in your recent past got to put that faith and belief behind your wishes your intentions all right come on spirit look y'all walk very good walking away from what hurt you what didn't work some of you may have had some projects some relationships some situations that didn't work out for you and that is okay everything is not always going to work out don't focus on the negative um everything is not we can't anticipate everything okay aries so don't focus on the negative forgive yourself for any mishaps or maybe you tried something a relationship it didn't work out just 
accept that it didn't work out, okay? Um, use that. It's a learning experience, right? It's everything that didn't work out is nothing but growth. There are no mistakes. There is growth. It's learning opportunities and learning potential, okay? Walking away, looking for, look for the hidden blessings, the silver linings. That's, it, it, if you had to walk away from something, something that hurt, because look, there's still two, look at Spirit with the two cups out here saying, look, all you have to do is turn around and see that you still have so much more that you are going to ac accomplish, that you have available. Everything happens for a reason, y'all. So if you had to walk away from something, if it hurt you, something that, that may have put you in a little bit of pain, right, in your heart, hurt your heart space. Um, don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on the fact that it didn't work. Use it as a learning opportunity, a stepping stone, because it's just a stepping stone to something better. Okay, let's see what's in your thoughts this week, Aries. Come on, spirit. Spirit didn't come to play with y'all today, Aries. Very good. Look, the, the wheel of fortune, okay? <laughs> a fresh new start, new opportunities, new beginnings, the end of delays, right? Because now you are seeing how you are standing at the center of the wheel, okay? The wheel is always moving, y'all. The wheel of fortune is always moving, but we play a part in which direction our wheel is turning, all right? When we when, it, when we going in the right direction, the wheel is turning around us. We're not... We're not trying to hang on to the sides of it, okay, and getting thrown all over the place. Um, you're actually taking action and moving your life forward. Fate, destiny coming together, working together. Message, sudden or unexpected progress. So some of you with these new ideas, these opportunities, um, the things that you're creating, the fresh starts that you're creating, new projects, some of you are going to have... Um, like immediate success with them, okay? Um, unexpected change, very positive growth that is going to come into for you in your life. Some of you, if this is you say, um, I literally just are walking away from a toxic relationship, okay? They're showing me toxicity with this 10 of wands and five of cups, all right? So some of you had to walk away in order to grow, show have increase in your life have create more it was like it's like what they keep showing me it's like they kept showing me there was maybe a block something that was in place that was not allowing you to move forward it could be a person could be a water sign okay cancer scorpio pisces that you had to wake up what walk away from aries um could be a job that you are having to leave but the job was stressing you out anyway with this ten of wands because it was there were may have been too many chiefs and not or too many chiefs not enough indians people it was it's, it just feels stressful okay it feels stressful all right but that's okay because we walking away from that and now because some of you made the decision to walk away and walk into something better that's when the prosperity is going to come in okay aries that is what is on the horizon and you know it right so continue you may have a little wobble we all have that okay may have a little wobble where you feel like things are not working maybe in the timing that you want okay because the wheel of fortune <clears throat> excuse me is all about timing as well, okay? So trust and be patient. I know patience is a hard word. We don't like it, okay? What is your potential outcome, Aries? This is beautiful, beautiful. Come on, spirit. Look at your outcome, Aries. You have the star. <coughs> Excuse me, Lord Jesus, my throat chakra. Have faith message. If spirits say one more time, Aries, that y'all need to have faith this week, have faith. The future is bright. So this week is about maintaining your faith in yourself, your belief in yourself, your belief in spirit. Message, look, real life, <laughs> real life tarot. <laughs> yeah. My bad. Look, real life tarot. Okay, Aries. So the star, you're on a path to healing and happiness and having faith is going to be so important for y'all this week. Okay. Dreams do come true. Okay. You have to believe that positive change is happening in your life. Okay. Um, positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. We already talked about overcoming the obstacles. All right. So y'all have a great week going on this week. Aries, very, very good. Okay. Um, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You just got to keep going, keep having faith. Okay. Let's get some guidance from, oh, they just said a angel number. I normally like to pull those in the beginning. That's all right. We're going to pull this angel number. Okay. 
What is the angel number from Aries people, Spirit? Continuing to believe in yourself. Very important for y'all. All right. Yeah. Come on, Spirit. Look, 666, I am centered. A wake up call for you to re examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts. Look, we talked about this wheel of fortune. So, again, y'all, so this is saying with this 666 coming in, like we were talking about, stay positive, continue to have faith. If you start to feel like you are um, not having faith, say an affirmation. Just come back to gratitude, okay? Refocus your thoughts. You can't get into that state of not believing, okay? We we didn't already talked about how much faith is needed. So you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. This is about maintaining maintaining balance as well, okay, Aries? Got to keep your thoughts in alignment, all right? Very good, Spirit. Now, let's get some guidance, right, from your guides to mine. What do your gods want you to know? Okay, Aries, for this week. Look, all my stuff falling all over the place. Lord, what is the guidance from your guides for you this week, Aries? What is the guidance? Ooh, come on, spirit. Look, shine your light. Remember we talked about in the very beginning, do not let anybody diminish your light, diminish your glow. Now you have Archangel Uriel coming in. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. So communication. Some of you um, may need to just get your dreams out there, get your thoughts out there, get your some speak your opinions as well. Some of you may be like into publication, publishing um, as part of your creative project. Some of you may be writers, uh, but what a lot of for what I'm seeing here, y'all, you may be dealing with something that is communicative where you're actually speaking to others, maybe public speaking um or just you have to communicate very clearly, right? And as you do that, you be in the flow. So continue to shine your light. That is your superpower, okay? Um, sharing your light, your gift with the world, okay? What else, Spirit for Aries? Your, your guys say, do not stop shining, okay? The glow up is real. What else do we have for Aries? We have, oh, come on, spirit, listen, the miracle of prayer, Archangel Sandalphon, taking your prayers up to heaven, your prayers or wishes, intentions are being heard, okay, listen, you're setting intentions for things to your, for what you want, what you want to make happen with this nine of cups and this ace of swords, all right, and spirit is giving you the confirmation, we hear you, thank you, Sandalphon, for delivering my prayers to heaven, so whatever you've been praying for, setting at intentions about understand i'm telling you I'm telling you aries your key this week is to continue to believe okay continue to believe in what's happening for you okay very good let's get a goddess power card to close the reading out for y'all i want y'all to embrace this energy aries all you have to do this week spirit wants you to stay focused stay committed to your goals, your dreams, and continue to create, to manifest, co-create with spirit, the life you deserve and desire, okay? All right, goddess power card for Aries to end the reading. Spirits, what do we have? Embrace this energy. Be creative. Shine your light. Come through spirit and the ancestors now. Listen. Number 34, Mary, Miracles. Okay, I'm going to read this out of the book for you guys. All right, beautiful reading. Miracles are happening in your life, Aries. You better believe it and claim it. All right, Mary, Mother of Miracles, has come to celebrate with you today. She is here to remind you of all the amazing wonders that are everywhere in your life right now. Look around you, especially at all the synchronistic events that have already taken place. I'm telling you, synchronicity is coming in for you guys. Number synchronicity, 666, okay? Ever since you were born, events and opportunities have come together to support you, guide you, show you love, and present the world, the, the world as you see it. Look closely and see the hand of the divine working on your behalf. You are a powerful co-creator and so you are responsible and accountable for the thoughts, feelings, and beliefs 
that seed your field of dreams. Look, <laughs> Listen, remember, miracles are uncanny evidence that from the invisible world, life springs into form without any reasonable cause for the effect. Again, when you start to doubt or not believe in yourself and spirit, not trust, no, not feeling like things are moving forward, refocus your thoughts, center yourself and get grounded, okay? Mary gave birth to the great Mary gave birth as the great goddess was shown to do long before the Christian myth of Mary became real. She too proved herself to be the very essence of creation itself. In this moment, Mary reminds you of those miracles that you too can call into being. You don't need a cause or any evidential fact or calculation to believe and then see that miracles the miracle rise up in the conditions of your life when mary appears you are reminded that you will never run out of miracles okay because spirit is ever abundant ain't nothing else more abundant right so just continue to believe in the magic believe in the miracles okay um don't give up faith this week don't give up hope believe in yourself okay aries that's your task for this week listen i hope this was helpful for you guys if it was if you resonated with this at all make sure you hit the thumbs up to help me get the message out grow the channel okay and if you'd like to book a personal reading make sure that you check out the link in the description box to shadegermaine.com all right very good aries listen beautiful week for y'all this week i'm sending y'all lots of love light and healing energy all right i'll see y'all next time bye y'all